Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from eLearning Portal. I recently had the privilege to test drive the new iSpring Learn and it really blew my mind. It's an updated version of iSpring's new online learning management system. Not only is it very user friendly, but it also includes all the bells and whistles and more you need from a learning management system. In the next series of videos, I will take you through iSpring Learn and show you how easy it is to teach online with iSpring Learn. In today's video, we are going to explore everything you should know about adding content in iSpring Learn. I will show you the different options available to add and create content for your online courses. If you already have course content available like documents, presentation slides or video content, you can upload them directly to the iSpring Learn platform. Let me show you how this is done. Once you're logged in, you will be directed to your dashboard. On your dashboard, you can see all your courses, your users, your groups, as well as the users per period. Here you can go directly and manage your courses or your users or your groups. To add content, we need to click on learning content. So in your left pane, you'll see just underneath your dashboard, there's learning content. Click on that. Here you'll see four menu items. One is recent, one is start, one is shared with me and the other one is projects. If you click on recent, you will see all the recent activities or courses that you've added. If you click on start, you'll see all your start courses or activities. Let's start one activity. So if we select an activity, click on the ellipse icon and then click on add to start. You'll see when you click now on start, you'll see it end up on your start items. Under shared with me will be all the courses that were shared with you by other contributors. The projects menu indicates the projects currently available within the learning content. As you can see, there is one project named sample materials. If I click on this, it will show me all the activities or courses within the sample materials. Let's create our first project by clicking on the plus icon next to projects. Then we provide a name for our project and we call this computers for all. I can add collaborators by clicking on add collaborators and I can search for an email or name to add those collaborators. Here the owner is specified. From here I can delete this project or click on done when I'm done adding the project name. I click on done. Immediately you'll see that computers for all is now my first project and sample materials is my second project. Okay. I'm currently in computers for all. If I want to select another project, I click on that specific project and I will end up within that project folder. So let's click on computers for all. Now I like to keep it neat and tidy within my folder. So I'll create some folders here. So I'll click on the add new folder and I specify this will be all my video content. So I type in a name, a folder name, and then create folder. So there's my video content. The next folder I want to create is my audio content. So I'll type in audio content and I click on create folder. Next, I create another folder and all my images will be in here. So all my images will be here. So I create a image content folder and I'll click on create folder. The next folder I'll create is for all my assessments. Okay. 
Now click on Create Folder. The last folder I want to create is for all my slides and my documents. So this will be my slides and my documents. Click on Create and now I'll end up with five folders. If I want to add content to these folders, I make sure that I select the correct folder. Now I'm within the folder and you'll see the breadcrumbs here. We start at Computers for All, then we move to a folder within Computers for All, which is called Video Content. And now I can upload video content to this folder. So once I'm ready, I can click on Upload. I go to my folder and here's my video I want to upload. I click on it and I click on Open. It will now start uploading my video content to this specific folder. Wait till it's uploaded completely. So there our first video is done uploading. We can go back to Computers for All. Now we can add our slides by clicking on Slides and Documents. Click on Upload and then go find our slides. So there's our slides. I'll upload them. I also want to upload a document to this folder. So I'll click on Upload again, select the document and then click on Open. It will upload my PDF document. It's done uploading, so let's go back to our Computers for All folder or project. I also want to upload audio content to my audio content folder. So I'll select this folder, click on Upload and then select my two audio files. Click Open and it will upload that file. Again, select the other one and then click on Open. And there my two audio files are uploaded. Let's go back to my Computers for All folder or project. So I've uploaded my video content, my slides, as well as my audio content. I also want to upload assessments. So I'll click on assessments, click on upload, and then select my assessment, click on open, and it will add the assessment to my assessment folder. Let's go back to our Computers for All or our project. The final step is to upload my images to my image folder. So I'll click on upload, I'll select my images and upload them one by one. And now for my last image, I'll upload my second image. That's it. Now we're done. Let's go back to our project. Here you'll see all our folders within our project. If we select a folder now, we can copy it, move it, rename it, star it, or we can even delete it. By unchecking it, we can select all or select certain ones and do the same. Okay, so let's uncheck this. From here, we can also click on the ellipses and manage the project further by adding collaborators. You've just added your learning content to your project folder. Well done. In our next video, I will show you how to use this learning content to create a course and provide access to your students to do the course.